The shark has somehow survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online, free from the meddling of sensorious busy. Hi, my name is Trip Weston. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play me. What did she mean? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. <laughs> Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. Predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her brain. The shark works the odor trail with a singular focus. Perhaps she's caught scent of Jormungandr, the world-encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. Admirable hustle. The creature has disappeared, probably whisked away by a government boat, lest we capture it on video. Marine mammal parks are designed to anesthetize us from reality.
These insectoids masquerading as men want to annihilate the world as we know. Molly Hatch disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea. The shark hunters are near. Love books, but don't love to read? Autolist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Patricia DeRay's Cooking with Colloidal Silver. 50 easy recipes from casserole to skillets to sides. So many people going about their daily lives, ignorant that their minds are held captive by forces they don't know or understand. This city, like so many across our once great country, has become an Agenda 21 system. Chalk up 23 oil spills in the last five years to incompetence, sure. But I think you should open your minds to the idea that these were planned. the shark caught scent of. The secretive Black Ops unit, conspicuously called NWO, has captured what might be their nefarious plans. Could this shark be using tokens? There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. on this satellite suggests that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military company, and perhaps the whole base of these NWO
The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through some of the All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. is not piloted by men, but bioelectric extraterrestrial military robots.
again appear the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communications model.
Anticipating a reprisal from the Predator fleet. WO is still in hot pursuit. The fish must be cunning, because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. could only be captured with the best professional-grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shot troops, at least for the time being. Suppressed free energy source, the electric great white. decides to nourish herself on the local fauna, for this battle can't be won on an empty stomach. this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bong Lord 69 who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Well, it continues in that vein for several paragraphs. <laughs> 